Well, the sun isn't the only thing you need to protect yourself from outside. The Placer Mosquito and Vector Control District has detected invasive mosquitoes in the Foothills Junction neighborhood in Roseville. Now, for more on what that means and what residents should be doing to avoid it, we're joined this morning in studio by Joel Bittner with the Placer Mosquito and Vector Control. Joel, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you. Okay, so you guys found what's called yellow fever mosquitoes. This is the first time this season. Explain for people how they were located. So we have an invasive mosquito surveillance program. So our technicians set traps in uh, likely areas. And uh, this is our fifth neighborhood in Placer County since 2019 that we're uh, detecting these mosquitoes. I see. OK, so one of the things that I read about these specific, this specific kind is mm -hmm. that they often carry diseases. At this point, do we know if anyone has contracted anything from them? It's a good question. Uh, we're not aware of any human transmission of diseases, so we're not concerned about people getting sick. Again, our job is to predict risk of people getting sick in the future. And part of that is to know what kind of new mosquitoes are in the environment. And that's what we're talking about now. What do you feel like is the greatest concern right now? I mean, when you hear invasive <coughs> mosquitoes, I mean, it's pretty alarming just by the, the words themselves. Mm -hmm. But what do you feel like is the, the biggest concern? Yeah, the biggest concern is really uh, what the risk of human transmission of disease looks like in the future. So we're trying to catch this really at the beginning. Um, so pretty much all mosquitoes have the capability of spreading some sort of disease. Uh, we're all familiar with West Nile and the Culex mosquitoes. This just brings another kind of mosquito with its possibility of spreading disease with it. We want to make sure we identify where they are. If we can get rid of them early on, we're going to try to do that. Uh, and if not, well, then we'll have the information to make sure people stay protected. And speaking of getting rid of them, you guys are doing a plan right now. What does that specifically entail? Yeah, our inv invasive uh, response plan is uh, to uh, identify early new uh, invest infested areas. Uh, we will uh, send out our, uh, our technicians, uh, go door to door. Uh, these mosquitoes like very small cryptic areas of water to reproduce in. Uh, so these are flower pot pans and uh, yard drains and things like that. So we're going to go and, and look, uh, look for those areas. Well, once we find an area, uh, we make, make some further decisions on some control measures. Either that's applying some um, uh, mosquito control material to the water to, to kill them as their larvae. Uh, we might do some truck fogging, things of that sort. So we really try to knock them out if we yeah. can find them in small numbers so we don't have to deal with them and later. Of course, we always tell people to make sure you get rid of that standing water, especially mm -hmm. this time of year. So that's really important, Indeed. too. All right, Joel, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Great. it. Thank you so much. All right.